What is up, everyone? What is happening? 18. Uh, still a little bit under the weather, a little bit, as you can hear, probably in my nose. Uh, however, I wanted to do this video, and I wanted to give you guys a perspective from my end of what it's like being a YouTuber. And um, for any individual that know how much or how often I used to post versus how much I post now, it's a perfectly logical explanation to that. Uh, and I'll get to that soon. So, for one, being a YouTuber, I guess you could say from when I really started getting back into it till now is a total, total, total difference. Um, when I got into really posting YouTube videos all over again, um, it was a challenge because I kind of you know, and I look back, look back at it now, and I kind of consider myself a variety channel where I would do vlogs and uh, reactions to almost anything, and then, um, and then I started getting into gaming and live streaming on on this platform. And compared to now, where um, I don't do any type of gaming on this platform anymore, I don't do any type of live streams on this platform. Uh, I will still post gameplays. However, even now to this point, it hasn't been anything out that has really made me want to uh, get into really doing gameplay um, full playthroughs, I should say, and posting those on uh, on YouTube because I haven't really played much of anything because of the lack of titles that's actually out at the moment. And um, and now I kind of base my channel just based off of the uh, the video game reactions for the most part, trailer reactions and uh movie reactions and those are actually the things that i love the most and so it's good to it's good to pretty much be or identify your channel as a particular thing versus it being revolved around so many different things and um trying to find an, an identity on this platform it can be like i said challenging because of all the different channels that are doing it pretty much the same thing that you're doing and um and the one thing that i would say for me that was nerve-wracking because i am such a i'm different <laughs> to say the least um i deal with social anxiety and um socially awkward to an extent and but then at the same time with me and my personality because I'm not, you know, one of those type of people that have, like, you know, a ball of energy 24-7 and, you know, speak to you all in a very high pitch, um, I guess you could say, energetic tone. I'm more so chill, more so laid back. And um, and my my tone can't, comes off like that. And the way that I talk to individuals, uh, especially individuals like face-to-face, um, everyone knows that I'm more so laid back and chill. I don't really get too riled up unless it's something that gets me to that point. And then when I do get to that point, it's not, you know, one of those things that's fake. Like everyone knows how genuine it is because of, you know, normally my, uh, my personality and just how much I have to be, uh, or how much I am. I can't even say I have to be. Um, but with me being so laid back and chill, wasn't too sure if anyone was really going to, um, really kind of gravitate towards my personality and if I was going to have anyone to really kind of vibe with and so like three years ago I never would have thunk that I would have had I think I'd had like a 2k subscriber special when I did the Bean Boozle challenge and um and even think about that now like from two to three years ago to now and having from 2,000 to 8,000, um, over 8,000 subscribers is, is kind of crazy. And I couldn't imagine being in a room full of 8,000 people that will sit there and listen and, and watch for, and anything that I do to be that connected into it. And, um, it's been, it's been great. It's been great, um, to, to be blessed and to be at that point. So, YouTube from three, four years ago, maybe, till now, is vastly different, as you all know, with the whole um, COPPA law and the Child Act and 
how YouTube is mainly trying to make this a family oriented uh, kid friendly uh, platform and the content from all around has changed from compared to when I first started and how it used to be so many drama and hate channels and then the YouTube Adpocalypse and then Adpocalypse 2 then the the hate that reaction channels had got at one point um based off of like certain creators like i think i, I believe it was like grade a under a and then a lot of people just started getting on this whole uh <laughs> youtube reaction hate hate chain and stuff like that and then also um you know a lot of the different beefs that i had seen from from akasan and Al dante to tyrone magnus and and uh and grade a to so many other like different things man and i never got on this platform to be one of those type of individuals and i not saying anything bad about them at all um uh, but i don't like getting into beefs with people let alone making it public um if i were to get into some type of i guess you could say uh i can't really say beef because i really don't beef with anyone but if someone had an issue with me and had an issue with something that I did um, and made a video about me, then I would, you know, reach out and try to squash it um, more so behind the scenes, not me making a video about an individual. That's just how how I am and, and how it comes to me handling things itself. Um, I don't think I don't think everything should be put out on the forefront. Um, things that I've gone through on this platform has been a uh has been challenging this is where it may may get um a little emotional for me uh on so many different aspects one i was going through a whole um living situation where uh i wasn't sure if things was going to, if i was going to be uh if i was going to be good to say the least, without really giving too much information out about that. Um, I spent so much time and focus on YouTube when I first started that it, it caused um, it caused issues between me and my wife at one point, um, only because I didn't really spend, I didn't really focus on my family as much, and I pretty much just focused on this platform and... Um, that's a big no-no. That's a big, big no-no. If it's one thing that I would give any type of advice to is to um, do not put your family on the back burner when it comes to, to this platform. Um, take the time that you need to take to spend time with your family and spend time with your wife. You two will always be there. However, your family is just one of those things that where you cannot, um, you cannot, put on the back burner for uh for youtube and that's just that's just me actually personally going through it and me making that mistake and and really focusing on on youtube and not really focusing on anything else um a lot of you know that i, I lost my my pops during this period of time of me doing youtube which was a um which at that time of me losing my father I was in a very, very, very dark place, a uh, very dark place mentally where I was going through so much. And um, and my my father's death was just one of those things of where I don't know how I'm sitting here to this very day um, in the type of mental state that I am now compared to how I was back then. And um, it was just, it was a very, very tough time. And um, uh, and I have you guys to think about uh, to thank for that and helping me get through that. Um, you know, I, I thank my wife, I thank my kids, I thank my all of my family members, and helping me get through that ordeal. Um, but immediate, immediate thing, an immediate escape that I had to uh to go was here on YouTube and was the connection that I had with you guys uh during that period of time and you all have no idea like how much that meant to me uh to get
do that part and to have you guys support and uh and knowing what happened and um and now and this is kind of, this is how it all kind of comes full circle so for anyone that does not know which i would think everyone knows at this point um i have an adopted son and luckily he's not in here right now because he's actually on the bedroom watching his little shows at the moment but um but some stuff happened where i would say a close friend of the family um needed help and me and my wife decided to help which is the reason why we have little man in the the house now and um and that's my that's my boy man that's my boy and so the weird thing growing up is my oldest brother is oh man how can i put this he he is he is my 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 brother all the way through uh some people will look at it like uh you know you have a different mother have a different father so you don't have the same parents however my brother is my brother my father took my brother in as his own and raised him basically from a kid to an adult and this is kind of weird how it all kind of happened so i'm looking at this as a sign from as a sign from god and a sign, and a sign from my father that a uh, little man has been been in my life and has been has been in my life to to bless me to the fact to the fact of how i'm looking at this in the same sense and so um, i will continue to be a father figure to little man and um that has been one of the main reasons why I haven't really really been able to post that much. Uh, I spend most of my time watching him and taking care of him and making sure he's good. Uh, my my days off, like I had an entire week off, and every day was just watching him. And, um, you know, if I had an opportunity to post anything, that I would. But 90% of my time has been revolved around him. So, it's uh it's been... It's been a a blessing, man. It's really been a blessing to, like I said before, to be able to be on this platform and to be at over eight eight k subscribers. Um, because some people don't even get that far to that to the point of being that far. Uh, my immediate goal here on YouTube is to hit ten k. That's my immediate goal. Um, I'm not worrying about getting a million subscribers. Um, if I'm blessed enough to even hit a hundred k. It is what it is, but if not, it's still cool. I didn't get on this platform to to make money. I got on this platform to be some type of positive influence with someone and to uh to share my love of gaming and movies, but I am I'm, I'm a gamer all the way through and that's just something that I absolutely love. And so for if I can be a positive impact on someone's life, um that is one of the main things that I love. Uh, one of the mod- the motto that my martial arts teacher has, and still has to this very day, and this sticks out to me very, very much, and it's something that I will continue to keep taking on with me through the rest of my life. Uh, the motto of our school was "We lead by example," and it it is one of those things of where it is very true. Um, I don't like to follow in individuals. I don't like to follow what someone else does. I like to have, be my own and be and be different. And being different and being some type of an example to someone and and showing individuals on, you know, how to treat people and how to talk with people and stuff like that. Um, individuals that that know me outside of YouTube and and talk to me outside of YouTube um, can can attest to how I am as as a person and how I treat everyone with respect and things like that and and morals and values go a long way Um, so if it takes me another five to ten years to get to that point of where I want to do things the right way to get to hit my goal then it is what it is. I mean, I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to go through the long trek of getting to that point 
versus uh, me going outside of my morals and my values and, and, and the motto that I stand by just to fast track to uh, where I want to get to. So um, that's my life as a YouTuber, man. <laughs> it's not really much to it. If it's not if it's not recording, um, it's watching Little Man, and um, and if it's not that, it's work, and it's work, Little Man, this after, and I will continue to keep doing it that way. It works out great. I spend time with the family, and um, I spend time with my wife. I make time for everything, and always make time for you guys, as I'm doing now, even with Little Man being here. So. Um, I would say the biggest advice that I can give anyone before I get out of here is to uh, stay true to who you are. Don't um, don't put on a front for the camera. Just be real. Be you. You'll gravitate to someone. You'll you will get the attention of individuals, and um, and you will find your voice on here. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't. Don't be afraid to try anything. If you are one of those individuals, as I said before, that is looking into doing YouTube or doing this or doing Twitch or live streaming, anything like anything that you want to do, don't be afraid. The one thing that held, that holds anyone back from doing something is trying. And once you get that out of your brain or once you kind of get that in your brain, I, I guess you could say, then everything becomes easier. Uh, me recording like this, like I said before, was was a god awful experience when I first started. But now I'm, I've become so comfortable with the camera and talking to you guys that nothing, it's not, it doesn't even affect me anymore now at this point. Um, and have fun, have fun, have fun, and and what you're doing, and don't get on this platform. To try to make money because that's one of the biggest mistakes that you could possibly make is to try to get into doing something for the sake of making money. Uh, if you are, if you don't enjoy what you do, making money is not even going to happen. Uh, based off of a lot of stuff that I've seen with individuals that get into doing stuff for the wrong reasons. So um, I know I kind of rambled and went in so many different directions in this video, but in the end, man, uh, I thank you all. For all the support, I thank all the individuals overseas and like Australia and New Zealand. Um, God, man, it's it's been so many different places. United Kingdom, I, I can't even tell you where what other places that I've gotten so many messages and inboxes and and support from. So once again, thank you all so much for the support, and I'll continue to keep grinding here on YouTube. And uh, trying to do what I can to entertain you guys and be some type of positive influence or someone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the symbol on the right side of the screen. Any comments you have, any questions, uh, leave those down below. And until the next video, guys, I'll watch you later. Peace.